Hi everybody. I've had a lot of people ask me how you can combine more than one Im digital image to become a brand new image. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The program that I'm using is Adobe Photoshop Element 7. It's a fairly inexpensive program. It's about $25 to $30 and it does so many things so I highly recommend it. And this is the only way I know how to combine images so if there's an easier way I'm sure there is but this is how I do it so I the first thing you do is you open up the images that you want to combine I'm going to combine this baby elephant and this Santa hat I want to put the Santa hat on the elephant's head both of these images are available at squigglefly.com so once you've got your images open, then you open up a blank file by going to File, New, Blank File. And I always set my blank file at 12 inches by 12 inches just because I know I'll have enough room. If I do that, I can always you know, make it smaller when I'm finished. I have the resolution set at 300. The color mode is RGB color and the background is transparent. And you click OK and you'll get your blank file. The gray dots that you see on the background are letting you know that that's a transparent background. The background on your other images is white. That means it just means it's not transparent. So the first thing I'm going to do is move this elephant onto my blank file. And I do that by clicking on my elephant image and going up here to this tool, which is the move tool. When I click that, I can come over here, click my elephant, and drag it over here to the blank file. So now I go back to this elephant and I'm gonna close it because I'm finished with it. So I've got this elephant on my blank file here and now I can move the Santa hat over. But if I go to this Santa hat and drag it over here just like I did the elephant, you're gonna see that this white portion that's underneath the hat would cut off the elephant's head and it doesn't sit on there right. So we have to make this white part under here transparent so that the elephant can show through. So let's get rid of this for now. We'll get rid of the hat. And I'm going to show you how you can make this bottom part transparent and move it and combine it with the elephant image. So you've got your Santa hat open and you go over here to this little tool it's called the magic wand tool and you click that and you get under here in this white area you want to remove click it and then hit delete on your keyboard and you can see now that this is all going to be transparent because I've got the little gray dots to show me I can go over here and click this and it's transparent I could do every bit of it, but I don't need to because just the bottom part is the only part that's going to be going over my elephant. So now that I've got that finished, I can go back over here to my move tool and drag the hat over. Let's close out my hat. And now I've got these images here. but. The hat looks a little bit too big for this elephant, so I'm going to resize it just like you resize any um, digital image. You'll see that there's, let me get in a little closer, and you'll see there's a frame around here. And you just click on this corner and drag the hat down to where it's smaller, and you can still move it. To where it looks you know, the way you want it to look. Now that seems to fit the head all right, but it's I want it tilted because the head of the elephant is tilted a little bit, so I want to tilt the hat. Now to do that, you'll see, let me get rid of this. You'll see when I take my cursor over here to the corner of that frame, I want you to see this. When you see that, that cursor changes into a little curved arrow. When you get the little curved arrow, that will let you tilt your hat either way by holding it and dragging it. 
So I like that tilt a little bit. And now I can move it exactly to sit on the head the way I want. So let's back out a little bit. The hat is on the elephant. I'm pretty happy with the way that that looks. So now all I have to do is combine the two by going up here to layer and merge visible. That merges them together into one new image. And then I'll crop this extra out because I, I don't need all that empty space. So I draw, I go to this rectangular marquee tool, which is just this little dotted deal. I click that and then I can drag. Sorry about that, my finger slipped. I can drag my mouse button is my mouse pad moved. Hold on. Okay, let's start this part over. You click and you can just select a frame around the image part. Go to image and crop and that gives you just the image that you want. So now you can say file and save as and then you can give this a whole new title which we'll call this Baby Elephant with Santa Hat and then save it as a JPEG or a PNG whatever you're used to using your images. My, my images, the Squigglefly images from, come as PNGs so that's what I usually save mine as. And then just save it, give it a new name and I'm not going to make you sit there and watch me type it, but just give it a new name, Elephant with Santa Hat, and then you'll have a brand new image that you can use. So I hope that helps you. Thanks a lot. Bye.